Dieter Manns, founder and CEO of Manns AG that celebrated its 25th anniversary this year. Mr. Manns, you consequently focus on CIGS technology as the most promising technology among all thin film technologies. How shall we judge this commitment? An efficiency of 14.6% on a thin film module, this is the world record. And it's a very important milestone in the development of the PV technology. For the first time, we have achieved an efficiency level on a sinful module that is comparable to the multicrystalline silicon, which is the majority in the production right now. And we achieved this high efficiency level at a much lower cost than the crystalline silicon solar. Sinful modules can be produced on a fully automatic manufacturing line, and it uses much lower material than the crystalline technology. Due to the lower production costs and the really big potential of the Synfilm technology, PV will become an economically viable solution for the future without subsidies. And therefore, we think the whole industry will even grow and Synfilm will have a big contribution to the turnaround in the energy sector, not only in Germany, but worldwide. What does it mean for solar industry worldwide? Right now, manufacturers hold back their investments because they do not produce profitable anymore. Yeah, the worldwide growth of the solar industry is very dynamic right now. The selling prices declined a lot due to the severe competition of the Chinese manufacturer of crystalline silicon solar modules. But on the other hand, the cost could not be reduced so fast. So that means almost all of them do not make any money anymore right now with the manufacturing of crystalline silicon solar cells. The MANS CIGS technology will stop this development and we will have technology right now available that will allow our customers to make money again to produce at a much lower cost due to the very high efficiency levels that we can show with our CIGS technology. With the MANS CIGS factory, the so-called CIGS FAB, the customers can earn money right away from the first day. And not only if they build a factory in China, they, all can, they also can build the factories in Germany or in other areas in the world. Comparable to other growth markets, innovation is also here the key driver in the PV industry. And we could achieve much higher efficiency levels by innovative technologies. And this is also what helped us to reduce the costs. So therefore, we are very confident that the whole PV industry can come back to the profitability that it needs by this advanced technology and by innovation. And I am very proud that MANS really is in a leading position now in this industry. Many manufacturers stepped out of thin film technology. What is the message you want to deliver to them? Yeah, over the past years, there have been many different developments in thin film technology. Due to the very low efficiency level of the materials that had been used in the past, it was very difficult to achieve the required cost levels that have been set by the crystalline silicon technology. This is why MANS has decided to focus on the CIGS technology already in a very early stage. And as you can see, this is the only technology that can really achieve the efficiency levels from the crystalline solar technology. We had, been, we had been aware about this pretty early already as we had the very high efficiency levels in CIHS in the lab already. So and now we really could achieve the same high efficiency levels than the crystalline technology for the first time on the real production size module. And this is really a very good improvement which we are very proud of. Mr. Manns, which trends do you see in high-tech engineering? Yeah, the Synfilm technology is still in a very early stage of its development. It's far away from the end of the development. So we achieved now in our record module 15.9% conversion efficiency on aperture. If you look on the results from the R&D labs, we reached 20.3% at CSW, which is our exclusive R&D partner in CIGS. Our roadmap now is targeting to make this gap smaller. So we are working to have much higher efficiency on the production size modules and to become closer to the record levels what we reached in the lab. A very important component of this efforts is our CIHS innovation line which allows us to really test under real mass production 
con environment, new technologies, new materials, and new equipments. We had been able to reduce the cost of the CIHS technology also dramatically over the last two years, now by almost 14% since 2010. So high-tech engineering plays a very important role in converting the results out of the lab in real mass production environment. It needs a very close cooperation of the R&D engineers together with the design engineers of the equipment, and this is something we are really good in at Munz. Thank you very much, Mr. Munz.